question. I, I only have 4,000 subscribers, so if you could, if you could just support me. No. Hey guys, it's Pink with Josh. It's Friday night freestyle. Oh my goodness. Just taking jabs right off the start, right out the gate. So, Friday, if you've never... Friday night jab night. Yeah, Friday night punching night. Here we go. <laughs> So if you've never seen a Paint With Josh video before and this is your very first time, you are in luck because it's a great time to be hanging out on a Friday night. We're going to come up with a scene, I'm going to show you how to paint it step by step, and uh, by the time you get done, you literally be able to pick up this brush and do it yourself. I swear on my life. Now, we took the canvas originally and coated it, coated it in white gesso from Artist Loft, right? You don't have to buy the giant jug, I just paint a lot, so I have the big old jug. And I painted that and I let it dry, right? And what it does is it tightens the canvas. It makes all, it fills in all those little pores. It gives it a nice smooth surface to, to paint on, right? Bobby Cody is here. Yo, yo. And then we stuck uh, Bob Ross liquid clear, very thin, uh, liquid white, sorry, very thin coat all over the entire canvas. And that's about it. We have a little, little jar of it for our highlights, maybe a little bit later on. And we get all ready show you guys how to throw together a really cool little scene we're going to knock out right off the top of our heads here so that's the most fun about paint with josh you never know what it's going to look like what is it going to look like i don't know who knows so again if this is your first time watching tell us where you're watching from what time it is where you are uh, or your time zone hey i'm in florida or over here in uh, new brunswick or way off in new england or right next to us in california right we're in las vegas so thank you for tuning in and joining at seven o'clock on Friday, so let's get started. We're gonna show you how to paint this gorgeous little winter scene that I've just kind of created in my brain. So we have a uh, cad yellow, uh, sorry, our yellow ochre, bright red, dark sienna, which is the light color of the browns, Van Dyke brown, which is the dark color of the browns, thalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, and titanium white. You don't have to have all of the same exact colors in order to paint with us, right? If you've got red, use the red. If you've got crimson, use the crimson. If your blue is named something different, use your blue, right? It really doesn't matter. Blue is blue in my book, because we always say, I didn't go to art school, right? I've never taken a professional class before. I don't watch anyone else's tutorials, right? I literally make it up as we go. And you'll be able to tell, if you're a longtime fan, all those older videos, I may say things that I do differently now, right? Because back then, that's how I thought it was easiest, or easy, Easily done, easiest done, done easiest, who knows what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, so it's a, just a progression of my art travels, right? Tanya, you guys seem to like it. Tanya is watching. Tanya, Tanya just had surgery today. She's doing good. So you can see we've taken the liquid white, put it on our canvas. You can see all those little dimples in my fingerprint, right? We're gonna get nice and zoomed in. And we're gonna start painting, we'll start the show. Touch it so that you look like a criminal. Yeah, so I get a little fingerprint action. Yeah. There we go. Just like the sun. Nice and zoomed. Zoom in over here. Hang on, guys. We're going for a ride. I never can tell if they can see the whole canvas or the edge or if it's slightly off compared to what I can see. So I hope that's good. Let me know. And uh, we'll try to make sure it's in focus and focused on the canvas. So, Crystal's here. Julie's here. Hello, welcome, everybody. ladies. Welcome. Again, let us know where you're watching from. And uh, what time it is where we are? What's your favorite sandwich over there? <laughs> so we're going to go back through our colors here and go a little bit of the bright red to start. Right? We haven't done a sky with bright red in a long time. So let's pull it out onto our brush a little bit and we're going to come up and decide just with the amount of pressure, right? Very light pressure versus heavy pressure. You can see the difference, how it just got immediately darker. So your pressure is going to de determine how much paint you've actually dropped onto the canvas, right? If you're touching it very lightly, barely get anything to come off the brush. If you touch it very firmly, you get a real firm area of, of real thick color. That was my phone telling me you going live. Ah. Because I'm already watching you live. Yeah. Husband no, like, is live. No, like I'm in the room. <laughs> I already Facebook told me that you're live. I'm right? A little bit of red up into our sky. And we might as well, we can even throw like the slightest little bit maybe down if we have any little bit of water. Maybe it'll catch a little bit of that red reflection down here in the water. It'd be really cool. Very simple, right? Just all we're doing is putting on little shapes. If you can figure out what your brush, what the shape is, then you can mix and match and piece things together as you're painting. You go, ooh, if I use that brush, I can make it look like this. And I already know I can do it because I've done it a hundred times, right? What kind of brush is that? So this is a Bob Ross two-inch blending brush. No, it's not. This is a house brush. It's a house brush. It's a house brush. In London's voiceover video, which is still going, you guys can still turn in your, your versions of London's voiceover. Right? All this is a 
little bit of crimson with whatever red we had on the brush. Didn't really change anything up. And all it is is providing a little bit of backdrop color. In case we go over it with a little bit of snow, you'll have this very nice, soft little pink shadows and different things that reflect our sky. It'll be fantastic. Oh, babe. Yep. Yeah. Everyone says this happens in the beginning. Can you turn the, the Wi-Fi off? Maybe that's part of it. I'm, like, I'm sure our TV is on in our room. I haven't gone and checked. I've just cut that off. Let's see. Throw that on the side. So, Wi-Fi if the sound is cutting out, exit out of the video, come back and watch this again, and it should fix itself. Oh, you fool. What? I just took Wi-Fi off the iPad, and it's not even... And that's not the one that's... I know. I it scares me with your phone. I'm scared I'm going to exit out the video. Put, you're not. Just put the little thing down up here. Pull it down. Ha. Huh. Shall I put Facebook back? A little bit of blue. Wi-Fi? No, just leave it. Just okay. however it is. A little bit of blue, a little bit of black come up into there and then who knows just let it grow down wherever we want because wherever we cover over with this red and crimson it'll just turn purple be fantastic gorgeous little dark sky all i really want to do is save just a little bit of pink underneath is all we really need all you need is a little pink 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 is all you need all right hey we're gonna get sued by the beatles baby can't sing that <laughs> But no, we can't afford it. We can't afford it. There we go. All right, let's take a little bit. Okay, cool. Start to blend our blue Sound together. Is perfect now. Awesome. Oh, you blend it down. You start to make this gorgeous, like purpley little mist. Maybe we'll leave that area of pink right in the center. Right. And all we're doing is pushing hard or pushing very light, depending on how far I want the blue to grow or the green, uh, the, the green, the pink to grow. Hey, the switch brushes to a clean brush. My yeah. voiceover was hilarious. Yes, your voiceover was hilarious. Was everyone, hilarious. everyone said that. If you haven't seen London's voiceover video on the channel, go check it out. Anything? She voices over what I'm doing in a very funny way, and uh, everybody loves it. And you can paint your own version. There's a hundred dollar gift card up for grabs to the Paint with Josh store to the best person, and then we're giving away a print to the worst person as well. So you don't have to be an art, uh, you know, student. You don't have to have ever painted before. You don't even have to paint it. You can do it in pencils or, or uh, watercolor or crayons, whatever you want to use. Totally up to you. All right, you're pulling a little bit of blue from each side. Just in case you want to have some pretty water down around there, right? Just in case. Bobby says, what size? Are you talking about this canvas or the one that we use in the voiceover, Bobby? Uh, both are the same number, actually. It's 16 by 20. There we go. A lot of my tutorials are on 16 by 20 canvases because... These are the ones you guys can go get into multi-packs for cheap, right? You don't want to spend a ton of money on canvases. I do three videos a week. I would need a lot more people's support if I was going to continue to do three videos a week on, well, like you know, much more. Subscribers. Yeah, or 75,000 subscribers. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, if I was going to do that and paint on like the proper thick, you know, the Pro Series canvases, that would get expensive at three times a week. Let John me Murray tell you. Photography says, hey -o. hi -o. Ed McMahon in the house. Or if you're a Howard Stern fan, hi -o. hi -o. Perfection, guys. Look at that. Nice and clean. If I haven't showed you yet, let me show you real quick. We use Odorless Mineral Spirits by Clean Strip or a company called Jasco. They both make great stuff. And we put it into a nice, thick, nasty cup. 255,000 layers. I'd allow you, to science. I'd allow you to see... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, I scared London so bad. It's empty. Oh, oh, she's like bent over. She's like, oh, she's mad at me, guys. But just an old, nasty cup. Very thick. You don't need a very... You don't want a, a, a thin cup like this. That'll just chew through, right? You don't want that. Are you okay, babe? No. <laughs> uh, one... Good one for the you'll, fans. You'll be on the couch. Yeah, I'll be sleeping on the couch, but the fans are laughing. They're laughing right now. Uh, <laughs> They're McGee laughing. McGee says, can I finger paint? Of course you can. You can do it in makeup, you can do it in colored pencils, yep. you can do it however you choose to do it. But Whichever just please way. go and watch the video. And it's, it's literally, it's a black screen with pink writing. It says, London's voiceover. I don't know why I'm saying that because I know McGee's already watched it. <laughs> All right, let's see. You can see that the only colors we've used so far, and we have all these different reds and pinks and 
and different you know, values, different brightnesses, different uh, faded areas, soft bits, thick bits, you know, it's all different, all in our sky. Lou Rowe is watching with her husband from Rural Retreat, Virginia. Lou Rowe. That sounds like such a relaxing place. It does. Rural Retreat, Virginia. Oh, we're, we're going to have like some gorgeous clouds coming here just based off of how we colored it out, right? We just blended it out kind of haphazardly. And then you look <laughs> and you go, ooh, that's kind of cool if we had some clouds coming in. Hey, that sounds like even... You like haphazardly? To, yeah, you, it sounds like you've been listening to the London voiceover. Yes. I mean, he's beautiful, but he talks a lot, guys. He does talk a lot. <laughs> it's funny how many... Ah! Oh my goodness. That? I don't know. It's Things like... are just falling all over. They're yes. falling from the sky in the Pete Wajaj studio. It's oh my goodness. You, it's because you messed it up with, the, with <laughs> the fake cup. It's my fault. You're right. Yeah. yeah no, definitely. Definitely my fault. <laughs> okay. Let's take... Let's try to save this pink area, right? We're going to have some mountains come in anyway in our little... Formation, you call it the, the flying mountain V, right? <laughs> but let's save this pink area, so I don't want to cover up too much of that. We got to start above, so maybe this isn't the best brush to do it with. Let's go in with our fan brush, just like this. I'm going to come up, try not to get it on our fingers. And you don't need a whole lot on the brush, right? It looks like a, like a little hatchet blade. Hey, what kind of brush is that? This is a Master's Touch uh, size 8 fan brush. <laughs> It's a triangular brush, guys. London calls it a triangle brush. So if you do the, the voiceover and you hear triangle brush, there's a clue. This is the brush you're going to want to use. Just it doesn't have to be this exact one. It can any, just any, any fan brush. Anything that looks like a triangle on the end of a stick. You know what? Uh, it would be cool if we did a little bit. Like, Bobby says, pop it in like that. is this the one we need to do for the contest? No. The, this, this painting that we're doing right now, no. I don't know why I said we. I just sit in a chair and stare at you. But in the okay. London voiceover, your entries are due. If you could message them, that would be great as to not ruin it for anybody else. Um, and send them to Josh directly. Uh, and that closes September 30th. Right, babe? Yep. Well, we're going to announce the winners on the 30th. So uh, get them in before, oh, the, 30th. before the 30th. Yeah, because we're going to have a show on the 30th. And we're going to announce the winner during the show. The, the two winners, the, the worst and the best. So don't think that it's going to take a lot of skill to be able to do it, it's, you know, it's really not. It's, Glenn it's said, up to, watched, did the painting one of my best, I believe. Yeah, Glenn was very proud of it. It was a good looking painting too. Maybe a little bit more white up here. Just scrubbing it in. Change it up a little bit. Scrub Bobby, it over I, here. I can't give you any more details apart from the fact that you need to listen to the voice, the voiceover and then recreate what you think I'm trying to tell you to paint. Yeah, I'm That's doing something it. and London is is describing it in a way that you're not used to. So you have to pay a lot of attention <laughs> and then try to recreate what you think I'm doing that London is describing. So she says a triangular brush, right? She's talking about this brush. You have to think in your mind, what makes a triangular shape? Oh, well, this brush does. All right, let's see. Look, a lot of this, you don't even have to paint. If you want a lot of clouds and a lot of depth, you don't have to fill everything. You don't have to have a whole lot of shadows everywhere or a whole lot of coverage you can literally use this backdrop color as your cloud if you wanted to as long as you shape it right let's go into a little bit more say there was a little bit more detail in this guy up here just wanted to grow up maybe he comes over this side who knows so it's coming down right but i'm not covering everywhere it's almost like it looks like a little guy up there head shoulders knees and toes right over here knees what i'm going to do is knees. try to stay out of your guys' way and eyes and ears and mouth and Right? Am I out of the way? Or does this just look funny? It looks a bit funny. All right, so all we're doing is just grabbing the paint with the top couple bristles of the brush, right? Not the whole thing, just the top couple. You see them rotate like that? And we're just moving it and mixing it and letting it blend with the colors that are behind it. And going in and then deciding, okay, do we need shadows or do we need highlights? Does it need to be brighter? Do we need to have a darker base? What do we need? So let's go in and get a little bit of blue, a little bit of black onto our brush, a little bit of white, and just mix them up. So we get this little grayish color. Right? It doesn't have to be black. So you want this nice bluish gray color. Right there. Look, it's like steel blue, right? Come in here, add it into places inside of our cloud just by pushing in different texture, right? If you put pressure, you push real hard, it's gonna grow real far. It's gonna be really dark. And if you push really lightly, you're barely gonna drop any paint onto the canvas at all, right? And then you go back and you decide, what do you think looks the best? What do we, what's it, what's it going to look like if I add a little bit more white over those dark areas now? And then they'll have a little bit more depth, space 
time to grow, turn into gorgeous little things, right? All sorts of stuff. Still haven't washed the, the brush that I'm making these clouds with or blending them with, right? And right here it's very thick, so I'm not touching it very hard. Just very softly blending it back until it starts to look how I want it to look. Because with this white, the more we blend, the faster it's gonna disappear, and it's gonna be gone in an instant, and you're gonna be with this, you know, very kind of minimal sky with no depth, no distance anywhere. Hey, all guys. these clouds are all stacked on top of each other. I know that I haven't already said it. We are 11 minutes, I believe, 15 minutes into the video. Uh, if you are watching on Facebook, could you uh, smash those emojis? Try and stay away from the angry one. That does not help. If the video makes you angry, please go find a video that doesn't make you angry. Uh, if you are interested in financially supporting the channel, you can obviously send stars on Facebook or super stickers on YouTube. There are subscriptions to Paint With Josh on both platforms, uh, more like the cost of an expensive coffee. Um, so if you can give up a coffee a month, you make a difference in our family. Uh, there is no requirement to financially support the channel. We are here every Friday, every Sunday. Uh, but obviously it helps, and it helps keep the internet on. <laughs> Even though I just turned the Wi-Fi off. No, it without the internet, the internet, we can't off. do any videos now, can we? No. Look at that gorgeous little... You can tell it's wrapped around, it's got depth, it's got distance, there's space in between these two things, right? Or is it just me? I might just up my own butt about it, because I don't think so. I think it's got some distance in there. And again, we don't even have to finish it, right? That's it. Sky is done. Swipe up a little bit just to flatten any areas of thick paint that are sticking away from the canvas a little bit. If you, if you do that and it really starts to drag, you need to go back and mix it more, right? Let it become softer. And we're trying not to cover all those little bits of pink back in there. Julie, thank you so much, Julie, to send a super sticker on YouTube. Hey, super! Super, Julie. Just like that. The softer you do it, the more times you go, the softer it'll become. If you're like, hey, I like that look. Why don't I get like a little bit of those up here? We're just going to keep the brush upside down, right? Not really touching it a whole lot. Letting some of that color come off. Very lightly. Pulling up. A little side, just a little bit, see what it looks like. You go, okay, maybe it needs to be a little softer. We'll go back and mix it up just a couple times. Swipe it again. Swipe it to the side, see what it looks like. Swipey, uh, swipey, blendy, blendy. Swipey, blendy. That's another, another uh, clue. London's giving you guys all sorts of clues. That's cool. I'm going to throw a big old giant mountain back into here. Anyway. Uh, Friday and Sunday for the clues. <laughs> uh, if, you are, uh, if you are watching on Facebook uh, or YouTube, if you could drop me a comment just to let me know that you're here so that we can get familiar with your name. Yeah, and the more time you comment, the more we'll remember you, basically. Yeah, that's pretty much what it comes down to. And then we go, hey, it's uh, Jonathan Everly or Roberta Harris or Tanya uh, Rodriguez, because we've known these people for a while. They comment all the time. So if you want your name brought up to thousands of people, you got to start commenting so we start knowing your name. And if we don't know your name, we can't mention you, right? Big shout out to everybody watching from Australia. Australia! Man, I figured out we have fans in Vietnam, in what? Egypt, in uh, Slovakia, tons of places. Like the U.S. is only accounts for 49% of my viewage, guys. Share it to your friends. The, the, all of the other countries are beating you. How, how can you let this happen? How can you let this happen? No, I'm just like, I, I love it. Like, we've got fans everywhere. Albania, I was looking through all the stats today, and I found this place I hadn't found before, and I was like, ooh, look at all these. It's very, very cool. Like, you know, 1% one, 1 of our whole viewership of our channel may come from uh, Slovakia, which is neat. That means enough, it's not just one person there. You know what I mean? That means enough people are watching to where it's kind of registering as a stat, which I think is really cool. Look at that, just like that. Looks like a tree. Looks like a tree. Bunch of stuff up here in the Joshy cloud. Joshy Poo! Don't wanna, wanna do too much. Joshy Poo? Yeah. Who calls you Joshy Poo? Kaleo? Yes. Kaleo. Kaleo. Is it Kaleo? It's Kaleo. However it is, I'm gonna say it incorrectly. <laughs> Not out of, out of meanness or anything, just out of, I'm just dumb. That's all. 
little bit more blue. Look how it just, it kind of just changes Bridget it, right? Simons is here from Idaho, just sent 200 stars. Hey, thank you for the Bob stars. Bob Cody just sent another 200 stars. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it, guys. Again, let's make like some top of their, you know, this is what the tops of the trees look like and if we when can we're get, painting, right? If we can get Josh enough stars and enough stickers, he can give up his full-time job. And hey! Annoy the hell out of me every day. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what London wants. Oh, yeah, guys, support Josh so he stays home. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Julie Strops here. She says, "Hi y'all. We're late. We were watching the other video." Oh, nice. That's funny. Just like that, fluffing, fluffing. Edinburgh. Fluff Lake. and then soften. Here by a YouTube Troy Fazio. Happy Friday to you too. Troy. Hey Troy, happy Friday. Yeah, on second th th thoughts, guys, just don't send anything because if he gives up his job, he's gonna be. At home. I, I'm gonna be with you all the time, baby. Oh no, I'll have to, put a, lock on the, I'll have to put a lock on the studio door. <laughs> I'm just joking, please. Yeah, she's gonna lock me in here. That's what yes, she's gonna that's do. Yes, exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna, gonna move lock this me desk inside. Down. We're gonna get rid of the computer that doesn't work anyway, and I'll put like a makeshift bed in the corner. <laughs> Just nappy poo up here. That's fine. I'm already sleeping on the couch tonight, I guess. Well, I can't remember what for, but I can sleep on the couch. So. <laughs> Look at that! All these little details and differences just from messing around, right? Have a little bit of darkness in there. Go back with your light. Maybe go back with some dark. Go back with more light. It's the play of light and dark, back and forward. Light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. See what I mean? Throughout the entire thing, everywhere that you go is all light and all dark. All together, differences in color. <laughs> hey, babe, what'd you get up to last night? Uh, oh, I painted with uh, with Karen. I actually taught a lesson live on camera to release to you guys uh, at some point next week. I already have the the Wednesday one from that other commission, but it'll be probably Friday. Like I released that other commission today, earlier today. We'll probably release it next Friday. And give us time to edit it and and it was really cool she's a she's like an abstract artist but she's done a couple landscapes in different mediums but she never painted in oil and she i gave her the you know the palette and the brushes and she went crazy and and painted a really cool scene can we you want to show it hun it's kaleo it's kaleo it's kaleo <laughs> don't mispronounce his name i know it's kaleo i said it properly yeah and then this is the one that she painted so you guys you know, and she's never done oils before, okay? Lies. Swears. Lies. That's what she says. She's never painted in oils. And that's a pretty cool sky, very cool tree. You know, the, the rocks, the distance back here, the blurriness of everything is really neat. And uh, there's no excuse, guys. They're, my paintings are not hard. If she can do this her very first time, you guys can follow one of my step-by-step -step videos. There's no excuse anymore. People are like, who's Karen? What's her last name? Get yeah, Ross. No, I'm drunk. No. <laughs> She does some really cool stuff. Carol Campbell's from Texas. Love the sky. Thank you. We're up here. We'll just call it done. Glenn That's Woodington it. sent 200 stars. Bo Bobby. I'm so Bobby. sorry. Bobby. Bobby <laughs> Bobes. <laughs> Bobby Boob. 100 stars. Rita Van Pelt is watching from Arkansas. Rita. We recognize Rita. Where's Gemma and Tony? They should be here. Yeah, right. Well, it is their together anniversary. Their so anniversary? Yeah, That's no they, excuse. They need to be here. Like seven years, isn't that what I saw on Facebook? I, 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 I don't know. I don't look at anyone else's posts. Hey. I'm so horrible, I know. I know. Unless I'm tagged in it, I don't see it. I no, just, no. I got, I, there's so much I look at. It's, it's, it's horrible. I'm that sorry. sounds like, go ahead and tag him in your post if you want him to hey, see Hey, if you it. want me to comment and see it, you gotta tag me. Look hey, at babe, all these what else details. happened to you this week? Uh, remind me, babe. You became famous by a scam. Oh, yeah. The, uh, we had our, some, I saw someone took Tanya's photo from a long time ago when she had purchased one of my shirts. And they said, my new Bob Ross shirt. And the scam is, someone goes, oh, that shirt's really cool. And then they hit him with the fake link. And then people buy the shirts and then they never get the shirts. You know what I mean? And so I saw it immediately and commented on it. I was like, hey, Boner, this is my design. He said... Bona. This is my design, and uh, I don't have any affiliation with you, and you'll be hearing from my legal team. My legal team being London, my pit bull. 
and yes, we sent her after So him. London sent an email from management at Pink to <laughs> Josh Com and said you must immediately cease and desist. Yeah, and speaking in of if unauthorized you, sales. If you want to uh, contact us via email, pay, uh, management at paintwithjosh.com is the new email address. Yeah, so anything. A little bit of black, a little bit of red. Doing little bit of blue. Any suggestions, maybe group uh, uh, group classes, anything. Uh, functions in a gallery. Um, Maybe you have an event coming up and you want just to live paint at your event. Hey, we love doing uh, that. Go ahead and shoot over an email. Um, I'm self-employed, which basically means I just stay home all the time. So if you uh, if you send me an email, that'd be really good because I have something to respond to. <laughs> uh, oh, babe, this isn't you know the other channel where I'm the sorry, guy cries. I'm sorry, Don't I'm sorry. Cry. No, no crying. I got no it. No crying. Got it. Painting with crying. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Uh, Alexander Cheers by is, dude. is watching from Western Australia. Western Australia, down under, mate. Thank you. He knows I'm, I love him. I know Alexander. He's fantastic. Look at how soft we can make these if we if we lighten it with our white paint, I think and then we just stretch them. I think there are several people them. in the comments watching from Australia. Australia, we're big in Australia. I'm telling you guys. It's huge in Japan, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm big in Slovakia, I guess, which is rad. I love it. Thank you to everyone in Slovakia, in Egypt, in Albania, all the places where you guys are watching. I love you. Whatever, you know, in, in your, I'm sure there'll be captions. I love you. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Anybody. anybody Same with the American you. fans. You only account for 49%. The rest of the world is beating you all together, you know, versus Yeah, there's 330 the US, million people <laughs> versus how many what, 7.19 billion, billion right. people in the rest yeah. of the world? Yeah, so, you know, the U.S. is very helpful to me, but it is getting beat by the rest of the world. I'm just saying. If you guys could share it to your friends who live here, it'd be fantastic. A little bit darker, right? We're going to bring it in a little bit more black, a little bit more cream, a little bit more blue, just so it darkens it a touch, <laughs> right? It's going to go Bridget lighter. Simon says, does Josh want to come paint live for my birthday? I will pay in beer. Pay in beer? Josh, can you just do a little, oh, you can't, you're too far zoomed in. I was going to say do a little side profile. Uh, Josh and I are incredibly boring, which means we don't drink, we don't yeah. do anything. We're and I don't have boring. a gut anymore. I used to have a big old belly. Josh used to show up and people would say, oh, hi, do you want a beer? <laughs> and now they, now he shows up and they go, hi, do you, just the water? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you need some <laughs> kale, sir? <laughs> They're like, no, I don't eat healthy, I just don't eat. Okay, and I know it's not as healthy. Just leave me alone. No, that's actually Whatever it not, is, is working. That's actually not true, babe. We had Taco Bell tonight for dinner. That's Last true. night we had pizza. It's not about eating healthy. It's about propor uh, portion control. It's about just smaller portions than you currently eat. That's literally it. And making sure that you drink a glass of ice cold water when you first wake up. And making sure that you drink warm water don't. with dinner. And which I also meal. don't. That's it. That's it. And getting lots of sleep. Or whatever else. Look at that. Look at all the distance we've created just with a couple lines of the same color and the same brush. Well, and this brush. All, remember, dark, light, dark. That's getting lighter. So then we can come in with another darker line. You know what I mean? It's a whole little play. It's a gorgeous little play of light and dark, I like to say. Okay, now let's do this. Why don't we get, we're going to change it up again. We're going to grab the, the Van Dyke Brown, which is a dark like bland, gross brown color. I don't know why, like we only ever use it for, for distant, faraway stuff or base shadows and stuff. It's, or the ground, you know what I mean? That's, it's ground color, that's what it is. Ground color to Van Dyke Brown. Man, I'm good. All right, why don't we come up here, make like a, a little bit of a peak, and we'll come down. It comes down like kind of steeply. So it's to drop down over here, stays in that foggy area. Right? Let it just fall. We're just adding a whole nother layer. Whole nother layer of, of distance. Just from this guy right here. Right? Very cool. And then depending on how you want to stretch it and pull it, it depends on what it's going to look like. Look at those differences in color. Right? Fantastic. This one's a little bit more mud colored with that Van Dyke Brown. It's a, it's a dirty, gross color. There's no other way to describe it. Gross little color, that brown. Oh, it's not grapey? It is not grapey, no. This is a, like, asphalt. It had oil on it. It's not a cool-looking brown. Right? The more you shake your brush and pull these little dark things away, the more cool little ridges you're going to create. See that? 
See how we all of a sudden just separated? Now our little mountain is 3D. Little things you can do so simply, just with the swipe of a brush. And sometimes we do it accidentally. And you go, holy cow, look at that. How did that come out like that? And you go, ooh, I, I don't know, but I, I like it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with it now, right? Okay, let's get a little bit of that same darkish color. Our purpley mix, blue, black, and crimson. That's another clue if you're gonna paint along with London's video. Purpley mixture, right? Lighten it up a little bit with that white. There we go. Don't need it to be so super dark. Right? I like having light. If we work our way, it's going to get brighter with our highlights, but also darker with our shadows is how I like to do it. We're going to come up here, and who knows, maybe just let it, don't pick the knife up, just let it bounce and roll and shake it. Right? We're just shaking it. Shake it off. Just let it bounce and roll. Right? Whatever we can do, let it fall off. Barely touching it with the knife, though. Who writes right. these news articles? Barely touching it. For anybody frustrated with journalism in the United States, a an article just came up on my phone, and it doesn't matter what the story is about. It's very sad. I'm not going to get into it. But there is a there is a paragraph. <laughs> There's a paragraph in this story that reads: Investigators said this individual was possibly waiting for a train to pass. Hold on, best part coming. However, a train was not present when they arrived on scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it would have been gone by then. You would have imagined. A little bit of blue with our white. Who writes this stuff? Silly people. That's like that, uh, do you remember that news story where it's like they were reporting a, a deceased individual and they said that they reached out to the deceased individual for comment? He did not respond. Yeah, he did not calls. respond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really? He's, he's possibly dead. Okay, let's take this... this color with our white and blue mix versus just the white and then we have our brown other over here right <laughs> and come up just again don't move the knife don't pull it off don't lift it until you've almost got no paint left right maybe there was a little bit of snow there but maybe this section of rocky brown stuff was just it's just too steep or it gets too warm during the day for the snow to to collect on it Right. Uh, you don't all have to be the same type of desert, everything. Desert Stoner is watching from New Mexico. Hey. He says, I really love your desert scenes and your skies. Thank you. Uh, Cheryl says, is this is that the science experiment with 100 and, it's 255,000 layers of paint inside the cup? Yes, it is. Woo, I just want to let you know there's 24 people watching on YouTube. I think that is probably the highest number that we've ever had on YouTube. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's true. Thanks, guys. I was actually looking at the stats earlier today, and the other really, one was 22. Was really the appreciate it. A little bit of straight up white, right? Look at the slight differences. Just that little bit of white in there versus all those little blues and browns and grays. Lynette and Randall is here watching from Australia. Thank you for tuning in. Roberta She's Harris says, fan. drink, 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 and then she says, oh, sorry, wrong show. Yeah, no, that's not, I'm that's never, never doing that show again. Never, ever, 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 ever. Oh, it just gave me a burp just thinking about it. <laughs> Carol Channa says, I haven't mastered the knife yet. Do you have any good tip for, oh, definitely. for knife novice? For knifing. We're going to knife our canvas to death, okay? So the, the best tip is how you hold the knife, right? We're not holding it straight to the canvas like this. Nor are we cutting right? fillet steak. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sharp. I'm not going to cut through my steak. I'm holding it like, like a Q-tip almost, right? Just fingers, two fingers, and then we're, all we're doing is just balancing it with our other hand right here. Now, the, kit, the, the angle is very important. If you're like this, scraping down, that's not going to work. Right? You have to let the paint fall off of the knife. And that's why we pick it up in a roll. And then we come over here. Our knife is very close to the canvas. It's even so close we're almost hitting it down here. And a lot of times I'll hit my own easel. Right? So we'll come over like this. As close as you can get to the canvas, just touch the paint. Not the knife. Don't touch the blade to the canvas. Just touch the paint. And you start to pull down very softly. Right? And the more and more you go down, the more cool little break bits you get like that. Right? Super soft. It's all about your angles. Right? Wanna... Say if we wanted a little bit back here, just put it back there so lightly. All I'm doing, I'm almost touching it down here, right? Just trying to let it fall off. And as soon as I touch my knife to the canvas and you hear the scrapiness, hey, hey babe. you're out of paint. Yep. Kane Mansfield to Kane Mansfield from Australia. See, that's another Australia fan. Okay. Kane, did you ever do your... Well, uh, in Australia. There's um, like five people in the comments from Australia. Kane, did you ever finish that 
did that uh, album cover ever go live? Like, did it did it get published? Is it done? Have you did, it, did they release it? Von I was interested to know what was going to happen. Von with Spolk that. is here. Just a quick shout out to our uh, to our minis who's watching uh, Carmen in Ohio. Oh, the little kid. I love when the kids watch. Is painting with us. Um, Carmen, what you coloring today? Big, uh, well, she's painting. Well, what you painting? Yeah, once she gets bored with the paper, it'll be her face. <laughs> generally the cause of action. A little bit of blue off to the back. Why not? Big, right. sh big shout out to Strider as well in California, who, uh, Looks adorable in the Pain with Josh UFO hat, <laughs> which, by the way, his father commandeered and is now wearing full time. Oh, really? So I think that's maybe we need to talk about possibly uh, sending Strider a hat. That's funny. Right? You can always go back in and add little bits of darkness, right? That's too much paint, obviously. We can scrape that up, wipe it off, Yvonne's go back over it a few times and Yvonne's fix it. Sparhawk is here. Uh, Kane Mansfield says it's getting painted next, uh, getting published next month. Super exciting. Wicked. Um. <laughs> All right. While London's laughing okay. it up, we're going to very softly, with just like one hair, one little bristle, for anyone as lightly is, uh, as you want to touch. So soft. So soft, right? So soft. For anyone that is new to the Paint With Josh live shows, oftentimes I talk about the comment, the winner of the show. Yeah, right? winner of the day. Best and, comment. And that means that you've issued a comment that's made me have that audible reaction where I just laugh out loud. And Uncontrolled laughter. Tonight... That comment so tap. far in the comments goes to McGee, whose com <laughs> whose comment says, "Josh, you make the painting look so easy. I can't even butter my bread this neatly." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, all we're doing is tapping some of that color and pulling it, dabbing it away, creating all that soft mist back there. Right, gorgeous things, leaving it soft for our next layer of paint. All right, come in here and do our little circles. Just kind of mix it up. The whole time this paint is on here, it's going to be mixing with that white that we initially put down. So anything you put on here is going to get lighter and lighter and lighter the more you mix it, right? And then all of a sudden we got this really cool little mountain, little frozen bit. These guys are so far away you can't tell any detail. This you can a little see, a little see, see a little bit of detail over here. A little softly, right? A couple little shadows, a little ridge coming. This guy, you can start to see more because he's a little closer, and then we're going to come in with another guy. You're going to see even more detail. Babe, I wasn't trying to encourage Carmen, but... Uh, Carmen San Diego? Apparently she doesn't need... I'm trying to show you a picture. Oh. Apparently she doesn't need any help. Ha <laughs> that's there's, cute. There's no encouragement. She would like Bobby Mazalda because he does the finger painting and stuff. Sh sh <laughs> shout out to Carmen, who's clearly going to be a body painting artist when she's older. She's like, I got sick of the canvas. Which, I mean, if you move to Paint Vegas... Paint it on my soul. It's uh, definitely a, uh, a profession here in Vegas. All right, let's take... I'm going to try to save a little bit of that pink, but I need to put a little bit of that kind of dark color or bluish if we have anything left. Just as a... We're just going to pull it down swipe it over so we have a little slight difference. That yeah, could be fog. It could be water. It could be a glare on the wall. It could be a lot of things. A lot of things. And the more and more we go over it, the more it's going to all blend and mix in together. So don't go too crazy. All right, let's grab a whole nother bit. I'm going to mix up another color here. Throw black in with this guy. Maybe some of that brown because I like that color. And the black, crimson, blue. Just, man, just make it darker, much darker. We're not going to mix this one with any white or anything. I do not think anyone's ever said that like while painting. Like, what? Oh, this is a great brown. Well, that's a great brown. brown. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Okay, M let's Moose. see. Moose is here. Cheryl's here. Moosey Moose. We grab up that dark color on both sides. Not a whole lot. It doesn't have to glob on there. Right? We want it to move. We want to act like this is a pencil. And maybe, I don't know, our, maybe our, our hill just kind of went up here, right? Automatically, we can tell it's closer because the tip top of it is, is much closer than this guy indicating to me that it's close to us. All right, maybe it comes down. You're like, oh, that's kind of lame, gosh. Hey, babe, well, fine. Why don't we Sunday, go over? And we'll just start to come down like this. Do we reorganize the studio tomorrow? Saving, a oh, we need to talk about that. So I, we've been talking about the Amazon shop and all that stuff, right? Nice. Uh, what?
Sorry, dude? Be nice. Be nice? Yeah. What are you talking about? You. I'm always nice. Okay. Don't sound needed. <laughs> Craig J George Jensen. Wow, I, I chewed that. I'm so sorry. He says, hi, Josh. Being initially inspired by Bob Ross to paint landscapes, how and when did you transition to more cosmic and fantasy-based works? Which I love the way. Uh, thank you. Um, well, it was pretty early on. It was like we would try something, you know, and then you'd have... There we go. We'll push that guy back, just like that. Uh, I, I initially... I love space. I love UFOs. And, and London's dad was actually the first one to, to suggest putting a UFO inside one of the paintings. And I was like, I don't know if I could do that. And then I did it, and it turned out so great that I ended up... I kept going, you know what I mean? Fill this guy in. We could have used a black canvas if we didn't want to use all this paint, right? Filling in darkness in different places, different things. You might as well fill it all in around here, too, and just cover our whole rest of the canvas. Just Ross, dark. Make it Ross dark. Ross on YouTube says, if there were... Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Cheryl just sent a $10 super sticker on Hey, YouTube, Cheryl. Which, uh... Very cool. You did not need to do that, Cheryl. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Ross just said, if they were still alive, who would win in a paint off, Bill Alexander or Bob? Winner would have to go against Josh. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sure there are many other people uh, more worthy than Paint with Josh to go against those two legends. But I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's the it's the teacher versus the student, and a lot of times the student ends up being better than the teacher. That's just how it shakes out. So, they have new ideas, they're younger, their brain works differently, you know what I mean? Let's take this guy just a little bit, gonna pull down, just so we have a little difference in color in our water down here, right? I just wanna say thank you very quickly to the agents that show up week after week to support Josh and I. Uh, I do really appreciate it. Um, just stunning. Wanna, oh, jeez uh, Louise. Did you want to talk about the... Uh, yeah, one of, so the Cheryl. Amazon wish list that we have. Cheryl is in the comments, so awesome. shout out to Cheryl for the easel. Yeah, definitely. Cheryl hooked us up when she went on to the Amazon shop, and she found uh, this easel, just its bigger version. And I haven't had a chance to mess around with the studio yet. This one broke on us. I even have a screw that I had to impact drive into the that's wood. You, that's yeah, it was going... Brrr, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was it. So once we uh, drove it in there, now it's nice and stuck, but it's stuck at this orientation. You know what I mean? So that's the so she got us. Twenty. Can you even get the canvas out? <laughs> yeah, I can pull it out. It, the screw comes out too. It's not stuck in there forever. Okay, let's see. I like these little like shelves. Maybe this guy come down. You just start to cut. Just forget what's back there, right? Eventually. We're going to lose most of it, but just having those two little peaks and these ones back behind that guy just pushes everything back. And it's all about layers and color. Light, you know, dark, light, dark, and all the way down, just like I explained before. Even having the red and blue in the water is very cool. I have cool. no idea what you're painting. Normally I have some sort of idea in the beginning. Where did you see this? Was this from a dream? Because that's what it looks like. It's possible. Are we going to visit there? And we could. We in, could the like in the we sky. Like we visit every painting. All right, let's pull it down. Just lightly. Just going to try to save a little, little piece of water over here. Okay. Any which way you pull these guys is what your mountain's going to look like, okay? So if you pull them just all straight down, you're going to have sheer cliffs. If you try it this way or try it that way, it's going to be a little bit different. Go big. Like, I always imagine a, a, a mountain is just a big... A jumbled pile of rocks, right? Like there's nothing, there's nothing crazy to it. Just a big old pile of nonsense. Throw out that thing way out there. Big old monster. It's gonna make sense in a minute. Watch, we're gonna grab up a little bit of our white, scrape it up, mix it in with that little blue pile down here, because it doesn't have to be pure white, right? It doesn't have to be pure white. And we're gonna come up here, covering over some of that shadowy area, right? Getting it out there, just like that. We start to bring down our snow. Start to feed it back, okay? Now what happens, we got this giant kind of straightish 
drop off. So we're taking that dark color, throwing it in there just in a textured way. So we have this cool little thing, a little sheer wall, a little bit more of our white paint over here. Maybe there's another one of those guys just right there. Right? Angles, most important. It's got to look correct. And you can always go back and fix it and change it, do different things. Right? And if you have to hang it off the edge a bit more, you hang it off the edge. Come back in, you can pop in cool little bits where maybe it was it was going to go over and then it came back out. If you guys are interested, cool. I did just post uh, the link tree. It does contain Josh's Amazon wish list, his TikTok, his Facebook, his YouTube, his Amazon store if you're looking to buy yourself some things. Uh, all of those uh, items on there uh, do come with a, an affiliate, so Josh does make a couple of pennies every time you buy something using his link through the Amazon store. It doesn't matter what it is. I just right. make sure you click on that link first. If you could go and buy one of those small houses, they're about 54000 that would be great. Um, Otherwise, the, you know, the video, uh, the DVD box set for Lord of the Rings, that's also a very popular choice. I'm not sure right. who it is in here, but somebody is buying that. Apple pens, laundry, soap, it doesn't, it does not make a difference. It does not have to be something out of the shop. Just use the link and uh, he will make a little affiliate commission off everything you purchase once you enter that link. And then here's Amazon wish list if you wish to buy him anything. Uh, and you uh, go through with the purchase, please send me a message on Facebook so we can keep an eye out. Uh, I'm obviously home all day, so it, uh, you know, I can at least grab it off the, off the doorstep. Very true. I don't walk outside because the sun tries to unalive me on a regular, so... Hey, you can stay killed. If, you, if you're going to let me know that it's coming, that is very true. Uh, Corey just said, if only 22 people in here recommended Paint with Josh every week to Netflix, maybe we could watch there instead. Huh. That is very true. You can go over to Netflix.com uh, in their Contact Us section. It says recommend a show. If, uh, if you could be so nice to type in your three suggestions, which would be Paint with Josh, Paint with Josh, Paint with Josh, uh, we could get Josh on Netflix. And Josh and I would spend a week crying and then obviously, you know, Bring you some content over on Netflix. Uh, Ross says all that's missing is Simba being raised in the air. Huh. It does look like Pride Rock. That's funny. Is that what we were going for today, Pride Rock? Well, just a, a cliff, a drop off. Ahead of this guy. Come down the side over here. That looks kind of cool. Just pulling it down, then we can soften it and do wow. all sorts of stuff. Wow, Corey is, is typing the lyrics. <laughs> to, it's very uh, soft, very soft. The Lion King song in the comments on YouTube. Oh, nice. I've never seen a king or beast with quite so little hair. <laughs> Stop, you guys are going to distract me. I'm sorry. Let's see, very softly. Oh my goodness, Craig... George Jensen just sent 530 stars. Thank Holy so cow, much. Craig. Thank you. Maybe we got a little bit of snow come down. Just tries to creep down the edges of those things. Maybe there's a little bit built up at the bottom, at the base of these, right, as they go off. Different little things. <laughs> different gonna, levels, different gonna, things. You're not going to paint a line on top of that, okay? No. <laughs> no. Not at all. I love... I like how your friends take over my show. <laughs> it's taking over your show. Everyone just thinks it looks like Pride Rock, and I can't make them wrong. Right. It looks like Pride Rock! Right. Pri you guys haven't seen Lion King in a long time, then, if you think that looks like Pride Rock. All right, let's see. <clears throat> let's see. What are we going to do with these things over here? I mean, you're kind of right. It doesn't actually look anything like Pride Rock. Well, Pride Rock was much more vertical, and then it had a thing that came out at the bottom. Yeah, no, I'm looking at it right here on a picture. It doesn't look anything like Pride Rock, to be honest. <laughs> there we go. But beauty is in the way that people interpret art. True. That is the beauty of art. All right, we're going to soften those guys down. 
That's looking really cool. I just need it to be bright right there. Right, just the lightest little touch to get it to drag just slightly down enough where you can see. Maybe down here it hit like a little ledge. Right, just a little bit of snow. You know, like it doesn't look right until you throw a little bit of darkness underneath it. It helps your eye go, ah, yeah, it got caught right there. I see that. I see how it could be caught up on that little ledge stuck out over here. You know what I mean? All just a mess. It's just a horrible mess. That's all rocks and, and these landscapes are, is layers and layers of mess on top of one another, right? Very cool. Very sheer and chic. Very cool. The more you swipe these guys, the softer they'll become, the more they'll blend in with that dark, and you can change anything you like or don't like, and just all of a sudden, you're going to pop it out, and, and you're going to go, holy cow, stop right there. Did I just do that? Because that looks awesome, right? All right, let's come in here. We're going to get into our black and crimson and blue again, into our purpley mix, like Lennon likes to say. Huh, babe? It's grapey. Grapey mix. The grapey mix. Why don't we throw, let's do it over here. Just a little tree. going to live down there. Pop in a little bit. All I'm doing is hitting it with the corner and letting the natural way the paint climbs up the bristles of the brush create those little branch shapes. Right? All we're doing, pushing it in, letting the branch, let the, the fan branch, brush grow man. out. And as it grows out and touches on the end, it deposits a little bit of color over there, a little another little branch and a little bow. Branch, my man. It's hug time. Hug time. <laughs> hey, it's hug time. It is? <laughs> you want to cut him? Ding. It's hug time. Let's see. Over here, let's do this guy. Oh, I got cuddles. Hug time. <laughs> no more cuddles. No cuddling for me. What's funnier is you couldn't even see me on the video. Oh, probably not, yeah. It's the greatest thing ever. There we go. All right, just bouncing down, sort of in a little Z shape until you get all these little cool things that start like to stick out. Like a skinny pine cone? Like a skinny pine cone. Babe, you're giving I'm away sorry. all of the clues. I'm sorry. And then you're going to go, oh man, that was too easy for everybody. Yeah, which... Well, yeah, because you gave away all I'm the clues. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me turn this guy upside down and then just start to feed it down to a point like that. Right? And then, very lightly, clean dry brush. Just swipe it down. Don't want to lose the entire shape, right? Just like that, you got a cool little reflection of whatever tree is sitting over there. Very neat. We could put, so we're gonna have to put something big over here. I just don't like what's happening back inside here. So, and you guys know we make these things up as we go. And sometimes they look awesome and sometimes they don't. And sometimes we pay the price for what trying something cool, right? Let me do this. Just right back there where that other guy lives. What's up, baby? Nothing. You look like you're standing over there ready to end the show. Yes, that is it. Thank you very much. Differences in color. Wah, wah, yep. wah, wah. Get him out of here. Okay, bye. Just cutting no, you guys off. I'm joking. No more show for these guys. There's not even any birds in there. How am I going to end the show when there's no birds? <laughs> pop in a couple little round bushes in here like this. Just by rotating the brush in order to make a circle, right? All these cool little things, pop them in there. Again, just very simple little shapes is all you need. Come back with your brush. <laughs> Glenn Woodings says it's not fair to the people that already entered to give clues now. Yeah, right. You still don't know what the actual painting looks like. Because Glenn so. asked me, and I was like, dude, I can't tell you any clues. Can't tell you any more than, you know, your painting looks good. And that's all I can say. That's all I can say. But no, Very I cool. agree, Glenn. It's entirely unfair, and uh, it just means that I have to do another one. Yeah, London's gonna. Um, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one that you guys have never seen before. Oh, right? we're gonna do one from like 2018. No, I want to do a new one. No, we do oh, an yeah. old one. Do a super, super, super old one. So the true OGs, the people that have scrolled back through your YouTube. 
they are the only people that are going to be like, I know exactly which one that is. Well, then, yeah, but we don't want them to know. November of 2019. We don't want them to know what one it is. But that's so what I'm saying. We're going to do a brand new one. people to watch all the older videos. Okay, I, I agree that makes sense, but everyone's like, no, do a new one. <laughs> Hang on, watch this. We have to... I always used to do this when London would show, uh, and I'd go, babe, look at what I just did. Look at how I painted this. It's so cool. And she'd be like, your, your reflection is backwards. Because I would paint it like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Opposite of how it was. Or I would paint it the same that it was. And it, and it was always backwards. So if you're going to paint anything, you got to make sure it's on the same little like angle. You know on the mean? same curvature. Curvature. And, and if, if it goes this way, that's not going to make sense for the eye. Very softly. Drag down too much color. Jeez, Josh. Very light, very soft. Do you remember that old website, Ask Jeeves? Yes. I'm sad that website doesn't exist anymore. It's called Ask Josh. They ask you about painting stuff all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's all painting questions all the time. See, Glenn it's Woodington totally would be uh, would be fantastic. He said, I've watched about 75% of your old, uh, your old videos. My Gerber is watching. Hey, hey. Baby food. Very cool. All we're doing is just building it little piece by little piece. Little swipe by swipe. Lynette Randall says, I drag hope this will drag. become a tutorial. This? Yeah. This is a tutorial. This is a tutorial right now. Yeah, you hope it's going to become a tutorial. This is a tutorial. I'm teaching you how to paint it. Right? We're grabbing our white. We're mixing our colors. We all know which colors we're using. <laughs> You got the Craig, whites, the blues. Craig George Jensen says, checking in with London, watching from Kiwanawi. I'm sure I just butchered that. Kiwanawi. Uh, Wisconsin, it's 9.55 p.m. Left my golf game two holes early to get home and watch Josh. Hey, hey. That right there. That's is a true a, fan right there. Yeah, that's loyalty right there. Thank you so much. Good news is the last two holes don't matter anyway, so we appreciate that. <laughs> Especially if you're not playing very well. I assholes. only say that because I don't play golf. <laughs> so, it doesn't make a difference to me. <laughs> Let's come in here, scrape the paint away. Listen. Scrape in your little sticks and twigs back there to hold up all those little soft, frosty little bits. Little frosty little bits. Right, we're going to come up here with our white, maybe a little touch of blue, just so it's not pure bright white, right? Go back onto our tree. Just popping up, not trying to cover everything. Don't want to cover every little piece of every little branch or every piece of shadow. It's got to be nice and soft. Only a few things get highlight back there. You know what I mean? It's not, you're never going to see the entire branch and all the way through the tree, the color on the other side. It just doesn't work like that. And if you have too much of your highlight paint, then your whole tree becomes flat because you've lost all of that that nice, you know, dark color that we initially laid down. That's the stuff we're trying to keep right there. That's where all the little animals live, way back in all those little dark bits, right? All kinds of things. Very cool. Very neat. Very neat. Very neat. Tell me. What's up? What? So, the little boy whose photo that I showed you, wearing your hat. Yeah. Uh, his name is Strider, and Strider. they received news today that there is no cancer in his brain. Hey, Strider! That's cause for celebration, my man. Congrats on beating that sucker. Woo! Everybody clap for that guy. Wherever you are, clap for this kid. Because that <laughs> is very cool. <laughs> They're trying to beat me up in the comments, and everyone's like, Crystal goes, is she crying? Yeah, yes. Lemon cries a lot. I don't cry a lot. Mainly don't. because she's married to me. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, babe. It's sweet. It's touching. It's very neat. Very awesome. Not a lot of people get a second chance at that. So, very cool. You're going to make me cry, babe, if you keep crying. And then we're going to be painting by... Ooh, I almost no, said... Oh, we're going to be somebody by somebody. Well, it's too late now. I'm already over here crying. Yeah. So we might as well be good yeah. Oh, just Thanks. all start. Oh, man. This is a cool little winter scene, you guys, right? Just very limited palette, too. We've only used a few colors. Woo! 
let's see. We need to get out some more white paint out of the box, though, because we are officially out of white paint. We are out. Where, where's the paint? There it is. Found it. Found it. All right. Got to have that thick white paint. Who are you FaceTiming with? Your number one fan. Who's that? My friend, Melanie. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, tell her to watch me on my preferred channels. No one gets she to see is, behind the scenes she's, footage. She's watching on YouTube. No one gets to see behind the scenes footage. Except the paying members. I know. There we go. Just like that. Love you, B. Kathy Swafford is watching from Illinois. Look at that little bit of blue we picked up in there. Very cool. You said Illinois? Mm -hmm. I have many sales in Illinois. Thank you for watching and tuning in. I love Illinois. Bobby Let's throw a little Connors bit of this. is watching from dark. Washington State. See how we're scraping in the dark? Washington State? What a fantastic state. Scrape in that little bit of, of just darkness for our, our shoreline, right? Got to have a little bit of wet dirt around the water's edge, I like to think. Got to have some wet dirt back there. Helps everything just end up looking right, to me anyway. And we slide it over. We're not using so much paint that it's going to ruin the entire thing, right? That's the fun part about it. If you can master that level of paint needed okay. to achieve the look no you're trying right. to look... While no. London cries, no. <clears throat> huh? She's not gonna cry. We're not gonna mention it. So you cry. We're gonna come back here to our white, our liquid white. I don't know how this show turned into a <laughs> a tear fest show. It's okay. We're gonna come into the liquid white. Split up that area of dark. Right. You gotta have a little dark on the top, a little dark on the bottom. That way, there's a little reflection. If you just cover all the dark, then what was the point of putting it there, right? Little things, little teeny tiny little things. <laughs> I need a moment. They don't even have to cover, they don't have to touch, they don't have to look the same. You have nothing needed. Just needs to be a little messy, that's all. Just a little mess. We all love a little mess, as lightly, lightly as you can touch it. Just three hairs and some air, I'm not even kidding, barely at all. Don't even mess about, right? All right, let's get a little bit more of our thick dark paint because we've used it all up making those trees and mountains and all that. So blue, black, and crimson right in here into the center of our darkest patch of our palette. Is everyone else's palette as dirty as mine? Even when you go to clean it up, it's still all nasty. Isn't that the way? Isn't that the way of it? This is the way. Okay, we're going to tap it in. Not really pulling it to load it, more tapping at it because it's going to soak up thick areas and light areas and little differences, right? And we got a little bigger bush one to come and live its way down here. Just wants to live down on the water. Just like that. And all these cool little things. Very neat, right? Start to build them. Remember though, you want to stay dark. More paint at the bottom. Even if it's thick, you need it to be darker. That's why I love using black canvases because the, the dark stays close down around the bottom where it's supposed to be, right? Let's see. Why don't we go just for for fun? We'll go and highlight this guy. You don't have to do it at this time. You know what I mean? You can. As the more and more you paint, the more you figure out. Oh, I could make this, and I could use that, and that way you're not washing the brushes, wasting so much paint all the time. No, I could use the same shadow to make this and that and this and that and that, and then go back and highlight, and then maybe add in. You know, it, it, it's not so much back and forth. Let's see. That's very cool. I like it. I like it. Very neat. Very different. Very different than what we're normally painting. Put some stuff over here. Maybe do another big tree. Who knows? We've got all sorts of stuff we could do. This poor guy out here, he's missing all of his arms. It's like, Josh, hook me up with some arms, guy. I'm like, my bad, dude. Take some arms. Get the littlest brush you can possibly get to make these little teeny tiny little branches growing off of this guy. And a lot of paint thinner. That's why I went over, I leaned over into the old paint thinner cup. Gotta have it. Otherwise, it won't come off onto the canvas with all this other thick paint that we're using. Our paint thinner won't come off the brush. Our paint, our, our, we won't be able to make any branches because it won't come off the brush if you don't have that thinner to thin it down and make it liquidy and wet. 
And that way it sticks on all of these layers that we've been making. And all these layers to make, right? That's how we're doing all of this thing. Layer by layer, dragging it towards us, getting closer and closer and closer. A little bit more of that white. And let's say we're going to come on this side of our tree back here. Just very lightly. You can even touch, right? Just touch it. If it comes off when you touch, cool. Keep doing that. If it doesn't, then maybe you got to swipe a little bit with your, with your palette knife. Just little things. Don't try to cover up all the blue. If we cover up all the shadows of all of our little tree limbs, then again, why did we paint them? Why did we put it there if we wanted to just have a flat tree? All these little differences and darknesses, they're the things that make our tree 3D and make it look real, in my opinion, anyway. Gotta have differences in color. Gotta have it. It is not an option. It is a necessity. And if you don't have it, your tree is never going to look right. If it's all the same, you're just going to be flat. I have to call you Flat Stanley. Old Flat Stanley. Just like that. A little bit of white on top of that shadow is all you need. Don't cover it all, right? Change it. Little bit. Little things. Little teeny differences. Little differences out the yin-yang. If you can get this thing to glob up a little in certain places and have them be thicker, they stand out a little more. Very cool, right? We're not smushing the whole brush, the brush and bending the bristles. We're not doing that, right? That's not making the right shape. You gotta figure out what makes the right look for you. Either whether that be the, the amount of liquid white and titanium white together, to create that, that textured feel or the correct ratio, right? I'm gonna come in here, pop in a few, work it back, leave some space, and pop out here, leave little areas where things are gonna grow, right? Come back in, get some more of that white. Ooh. I wanna push too hard because we're gonna end up covering everything, and that's not fun. You end up covering it all, and then you look at yourself and you go, man, why did I do that? What was I thinking? All right, let's pull this guy out down around his base. Nice little frozen little bush. Can even throw a little pathway back in here now. Just by adding it in, just by covering it up, changing things up. What do we do when we don't like it? We change it up, push in a little bit more darkness around the bottom. And then all that light will make a little bit more sense why it's on, why it's there in such thickness, right? Fill it in, just change it just a little. Just the smallest little change is all we need. Amen. You cover it too much, you're like, all right, now I've been doing this on purpose in this exact area so we could do this, right? You end up making mud when you start to come to the front. Don't just keep making it worse. Take your, your paper towel, come in just around where you need your area, right? Wipe it off, fold it over. It's not like cheating. Right? You can do whatever you need to do in order to make the paint stick better for you. Like, okay, right here, it just, it just wasn't working over here for me for whatever reason. Can't do it. It's not easy. So what does Josh say? We, we change. We wipe it up. We fix it. We go off in a different direction. Right? We can do anything we want to do. You really can. All you have to do is have the know-how about where to cut it off, where to continue your blend from, Look at this, right? Look at it, look at it. It's back to normal, guys. Like we were never even there, right? All of a sudden, you can change anything you wanna change at the drop of a hat. You don't like it to be so pink? Go over it till it just changes, just softly. You want it to have a little different, a little gray, a little whiter, a little darker blue. All these little things you can do so simply. So don't be intimidated, don't think, Oh man, like that's such a cool scene. I don't ever think I'll be able to do one similar to that, so I'm not even going to try, right? That's not what we want. You got to have you try. If you don't try, how are you ever going to know if you're any good? Right? And I'm not going to make it hard for you. I make them nice and easy. So you want to come back to my channel. You want to continue. You want to keep going. Maybe underneath, back in these areas, just to make it a bit darker. Have everything that's light pop out. Right? Just work it in until it starts to make sense. Until it starts to mix in. 
You can go back in. You can change things. You can add things. You can blend. I, look, I just went over the top of the bush right there. I'm like, oh no, I ruined it forever. Oh no, right? It's really not it. You can go back in, add a little bit, change our bush, right? Go back with our, our, our dark, and then in with the light, and all of a sudden, it's a little bit different, but just that simply and that easily fixable of a, of a, a mistake that some people have been like, oh no, I, I can't go back, I'll never be able to fix that, it's never going to look the same again, right? It's really not true. You can go back, you can change it, you can fix it, you can wipe the whole thing off and start again if you really wanted to. No one's telling you you can't. It's not a race. Don't try to make it be a race, right? Doesn't matter how long it takes me to do, we're here for you. You can pause me a hundred times. Let me sit like this, oh, with like the weirdest look on my face, right? You can do that all day long. I'm the only one that's got to sit up here and do it all in one go, right? Take a little bit of our rock color, our dark kind of base. Maybe it's the, maybe this will turn into our dirt, right? A little bit of dirt around the edge of the water. Maybe we'll bring it up here just so it makes sense in my brain. There we go. A little bit of darkness at the bottom. All right? You can always take them. Come out to the side. Come over to this side. Blend it down. Blend it into our water. Blend it into our dirt or the ground. Or make a little rock out of it. Right? Like all of a sudden I can just see if we put a little bit of white on this side. All right, just like that. Where do you think the shadow is going to go? Which in our shadows instance is a little bit of blue and a little bit of white just to change it up. Just like that. And come off of this side. Oh, that's very blue. Whoosh! See? Over behind in the shadows. And now it looks like the rock is coming out at us with that angle, right? All simply by changing whatever we want. Look at that. It looks like it's coming out to greet us. Hello. It's like, hey. Look here, I'm back. Hey, London's back. Just sitting out here saying hello. We've got all this shade on the other side. Very cool. Very cool. We still have all this paint on the palette. So, unluckily for you guys, that means we get to add more. More. More, more, more. Brown, blue, red, black. All on the brush, all at the same time. All in there, and let's go like this, just real fast. Big old monster. You have to make the sounds, otherwise it doesn't work. And the fatter you, the harder you push, the fatter your trunk is going to get, right? It gets down closer to us. Very cool. A little bit of depth. Very neat. Very neat. All right. We need a little bit more paint thinner to do his arms couple dips into our cup and then it wants to run off of your palette so you got to hold it very flat I know it's hard for you guys to see what I'm doing over here Craig Joe Jensen just sent another 500 stars hey Craig thanks so much drop off a little tree branch just have it come out but it's got to be wet look at it it wants to start rolling down maybe on this side and one go up over there maybe it's split oh, start just go Annette, off that way Annette Babcock says showing us how to fix by taking paint off is what makes you the best watched many different tutorials but you're the only one that shows that I wasted so many canvases before I found you well that's because all the other guys don't want you to see them make a mistake we need they go, to oh, I gotta look perfect I gotta do it the best can you, I can't show you that I'm human can you remind me tomorrow to go to Walgreens and get my pills <laughs> yeah are you just, what so is going on? Huh? What's going on? No, I'm just, I'm having a moment. Leave oh, me alone. Oh, okay. <laughs> London's having a moment, guys. Be, be gentle. There we go. You can let it grow anywhere you want, but if you go over that thick area of snow or shadow, you got to have enough thinner on the brush to make it <laughs> across. Crystal says, the harder you push, the fatter it gets. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Innuendo is by Crystal, brought to you on this fine Friday evening. There we go. Very light, small little things, right? Little imperfections in the tree. Little branch here, little branch there. All sorts of things, right? All little broken off sections. Doesn't even have to, to you know, complete. Doesn't have to look the same. Doesn't have to match, doesn't have to be the same color or go the same direction. 
One of my favorite ones to do is one that comes, well, it's sort of hard to do here. Uh, I guess we could come right here. We'll go off and then through into the thing. You see what I mean? It's kind of growing out at us like our little ridges. Just very simply, very easily coming across those branches and just changing it. All sorts of things. Very cool. Hey, remember guys, we're doing the creepy coffin lid September 30th. So make sure that you tune in for that. Yeah, we have the... That's going to be really cool. The that creepy lid. coffin lid. So we'll paint a Halloween scene on the coffin lid. It's going to be fantastic. By the way, for anyone just tuning in who wasn't here last week or the week before, it is not a real coffin lid. <laughs> yes, we, uh, we had an comments, accident. Thinking that we have uh, somehow acquired a coffin and we are painting the lid. I mean, we just because we're in Las Vegas doesn't mean we're affiliated with the mob. <laughs> we don't just have coffins, you know, on our disposal. It is a coffin lid there that you go. can very easily go buy from Michael's. Uh, they, they do right around Halloween. They sell a lot of really cool... Excuse me. They sell a lot of really cool Halloween-y type things that you can paint, whether it's, you know, carved out of wood or pumpkins. They sell a lot of really cool things. So yeah, if you're looking at wanting to paint something on, you know, the face of a pumpkin because you're aggressive like me and you can't carve a pumpkin, then by all means head down to Michael's and uh, really appreciate if we could get sponsorship. And uh, head over <laughs> to Michael's and yeah. purchase one of those pumpkins and paint a creepy scene on the front. Yeah, we're going to be doing our our uh, Halloween season is about to start on the uh, 30th of September. We're going to start painting all sorts of creepy scenes. And London had the idea of doing the very first one on that coffin lid. And I was like, that is fantastic. That's exactly what we need to do. Let's do it on the lid. I'm just struggling whether or not to do it with like an orange sky or like a green sky, this kind of sky, that kind of sky. We can do all sorts of different things, right? Very cool. Very cool. A little bit more white. Just going to sneak some onto our shadowy side. Like there was a little bit of light that kind of creeped over and got lit up. Right? It's never all just perfect. And maybe so often there's a there's another little piece. Or maybe at the base of this tree, got another little bit of light on him. Right? Very cool. Just uh, all little differences depending on the angle that we swipe the, the knife and pull it away. and get all these little cool things. Very cool. Very neat. Very neat. Very neat. Well, I'm about to call this one done, guys. I think it is fantastic. Cool little, like, mountaintop lake front pond sort of something or other. All right, we're going to make our, our uh, shoreline here. A little bit soft, just so softly. Just like that. And you can blend it until your heart is content. Blendy, blendy pants. That's cool. Let's put a rock, though. Why don't we take a little bit of the blue, black, and white. Let's throw, like, a stone in here. Just a real thick. He's going to stand out as right up here in the foreground of our, of our painting. Right? Maybe our... I think our path goes over a little bit, kind of covers this pond. There we go. Maybe he's even bigger. Who knows? Just make him giant, really dark. Big old weird color. Taking up a bunch of space. Pushing our, our water back, giving it depth and distance. Ooh, that's a good idea. Changing it. Ross Richard says, orange sky, but the clouds are in the shape of a golf pumpkin face. <laughs> I did that last year, but it was the sun in the shape of a, of a face, which was really cool. <coughs> Walter, Walter. What? Glenn Woodington is yelling Walter in the comments. Oh, Walter goes into his paintings. That's cool. A little jagged rock, some sort of something. Now we can come in and really get crazy with our our uh, shadows and highlights and ridges and depth and distance, even in this little teeny bit of rock that's in the front. 
All right, every so often we're going to put in a few little shadowy areas that are going to blend together. Have all sorts of good time with that white. Maybe off onto that side or back here. Just little things, right? You don't even have to cover it all. And you don't even have to cover all of it with the white either. Come up here, just start dropping things on. Maybe where the the light might hit. Catches it. Look at all that. Look at all those little cracks. All those little teeny tiny things. Right? It would be hard to go back and cover over and fill in with those blues. As our shadow and that's why I like doing our highlights first right not even filling in the whole thing very cool you have to leave some of it dark you don't want to cover every single thing it can't all be the same amount of light or the same amount of dark right that's what we all learned there we go this guy it's always like the one right there we go Right where my easel is going to hurt it, right in the foreground of the painting. That's very cool. Mark Chapman says, my favorite. Thank you. Hey, babe, if someone was interested in buying this, where would they be able to purchase it from? So, you could go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and you could buy this painting or any of the paintings that you see in the wall back here. Why don't we get all zoomed out? Because I think we're about done. We can put the birds in and stuff. I was going to say, where are the buddies? We could put them in in a second. There we go. But yeah, cool kind of glacial estate. Palatial? Glacial? No? All right, let's add the birds. Now, the way I do these birds is for myself, my wife, and my daughter, and we go into every one of our paint, my paintings and travel around our crazy wild world that we paint, right? So, and they're just little M-shaped birds. I always, I have three people in my family. People have come to... You know, taking it where they do five birds, or one bird, or three birds, or two, or whatever. However many people they have in their family. And they kind of adapt that as <clears throat> part of their signature that they took from me, which is kind of cool. Kind of neat. Let's sign this sucker right here. Come over like that. McGee says, woof. Woof! So funny. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that came out great. I like this one. It's very cool. A little bit of depth, a little bit of distance, a little bit of way far off mountains, all the way back there. All different textures as we get closer to us. Man, I like it. What do you guys think? Who's going to be the first one to try this one and send it in to me? That's going to be the question. That's what we're on. Who is that lucky soul? Who's going to be the very first one? So, let's clean these brushes off. And we can tell you, you can go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com or check out paintwithjosh.com for upcoming news and events. That's what all the other people say on their website, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, always follow me on Facebook. If you don't follow me on Facebook, you're missing out. Facebook is my most, uh, po most popularly used platform. It's my highest, my biggest audience. And we do the most fun things over on Facebook and YouTube. So if you're not following me on either one of those platforms, you need to be, right? Make sure you go over, you click follow, you click favorites. And that way, or if you're on YouTube, you select all notifications. That way, anytime I post or go live, it's going to tell you right away and you'll be able to hop in. Hop in! Bill Emery is watching. He says, well done. We'll try next week. Awesome! Thank you, Bill, for tuning in and always for trying the videos. Julie, I appreciate it. Julie Hamlin says I love this so much. Thank you, thank you. It'll be available for it on Etsy, and I think the price is about one fifty ish. After uh, did we not talk about this, Joshua? Yeah, but this is this is uh, you know I, I like the people. I I love the people. I got to give the people the deals. I don't Rita know. Rita Van Pelt says it is fantastic. Glenn says love it. Thank you, thank uh, you. Glenn also says Walter would need a scarf. Definitely. <laughs> Lynette Randall says sensational. Thank you, thank you. Uh, McGee says well done, Joshy. I appreciate it. That's what I say when I reply back to you guys. It said exactly how I just responded to you. I appreciate it. Well, the painting in life is kind of laid back. Ain't much no painting more like me can't hack. Early in the rise, early in the sack. Well, thank God I'm a painting boy. Well, I said, kind of life never did me no harm. I think I might sit down and paint a little farm. And then I might fill it with some easy country charm. Thank God I'm a painting boy. Go ahead, babe. 
were you about to say? Oh, I was going I don't have a verse. Sounded like you were waiting oh, for me and you were to join in? in with like voiced verses. That's when that's when you go, Well, I got me a fine wire, but got me my easel. My name's Pink with Josh, I'll teach you a little. And I don't like it when the camera starts to wiggle. Thank God I'm a painting boy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. Don't worry, when I put it to music, it'll be better. Like, thank God I'm a painting boy, yes! I don't know, I love John Denver. I can't get over it. Josh Denver. That's what we're gonna call that one. And then we go into the first verse, and it goes, when the work's all done and the sun's setting low, I pull out my easel, cause it's time to start the show. The kids are asleep, so we keep it kinda low. Thank God I'm a painting boy. Well, I paint landscapes all day if I could, but the Lord and my wife wouldn't think it very good. So I, I paint when I can and I work when I should. Thank God I'm a painting boy. <laughs> well, I got me here, wife, I'm a guy with my easel. My name's Paint with Josh, I'll teach you a little, but I don't like it when the camera starts to wiggle. Thank God I'm a painting boy, yes! <clears throat> Somebody give me a track. And you can hear this plus 19 other songs. <laughs> On the Paint With Josh Greatest Hit CD, coming out, my goodness. You know, you guys know that's fire. I, all of you are like, oh my god, this, he's a lyrical genius. But I don't like it when the camera starts to wake up. I think that I'm painting my, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Do the people like it? Oh, I think everybody loves it. And everybody loves it? Yeah, Julie Strupp says, oh my god, I know Julie is killing me right now. <laughs> I know my lyrics are fantastic, thank you. Thank you. I have a few songs that I'm working on currently. I just need to get the courage to be able to sing them. Julie, and, uh, Julie Hammond says, hee <laughs> 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 Woo! I'm a clean boy, yes! <laughs> and then follows it up with Grammy. <laughs> Grammy. I'm telling you, if next year they're like, you know, we've tried to reach out to him, we've emailed him at happyfanscapes at gmail.com, even though yeah. he doesn't use that email anymore. It's no email anymore. We've tried to reach out to Paint with Josh, we'd like to uh, offer him a <laughs> Grammy. This, this Grammy for the last. And it'll be it'll be like uh, it'll be like Rihanna accepting my Grammy for me. <laughs> I came out to accept this for Paint with Josh for his, you know, uh, I'm a painting boy song. <laughs> This John Denver cover. Kathy Swafford says, whatever you are drinking, you've got to share. <laughs> it's more it's more of a smoking thing versus a drinking thing. Not anymore. And come it? on down! In an hour and fifty minutes. <laughs> but I don't like the way the camera starts to wiggle! <laughs> so I shoot a screw right in it. Just like that. You guys want to hear it again? We need the music, though. Can you pull up the music? Can you pull yeah, up the song? I'll sing the crap out of it. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. John Denver. I got it. I know this song. You Take Me it. Home, Country Road. No, that's not it. That's a different one. But I also have lyrics for that, if you're interested. All right. Let's do this while we clean up. Okay. It starts very fast. It's like two seconds and the lyrics hit. So, John Denver. John Denver, Country Boy. No, what's it called? Country Boy. Uh, thank God I'm a Country Boy. Yeah. Instrumental. Um, okay. I only need one minute. It's, <laughs> it's 59 seconds of lyrics and that's it. Here we go. Okay. What is that? <laughs> well, the painting in life is kind of laid back. Ain't much an old painting boy like me can hack. Early in the rise, early in the sack. But hang down, I'm a painting boy. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I ate it because I tried to pick this up. One more time. Why are you trying to One do so much? Because uh, I, I need to hear John singing the real okay, okay. To, we'll get to, to get me to sing the wrong okay, lyrics. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it wrote itself. Well, I'm uh, Here we go, here we go. Here we okay. go. Yes! Woo! <laughs> sing it! Uh, I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> How amazing is that? If I could just nail it in one take. Here we go, babe. That'd be awesome. <laughs> what? How amazing is that? Oh, you're going to replay it? <laughs> oh, I was oh gonna, I'll listen to it when we get off. I'm going to you singing it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> the camera starts to wiggle! Woo! Thank God I'm a painting boy! Yes! <laughs> Julianne Lynn just sent a $5. <laughs> <laughs> Does 
that all we have to do is sing in order to Joan sell our soul? It says John Denver is unavailable for comment. John, Josh Denver. Josh Denver cover. Uh, if John Denver heard that, he'd be like, damn, that dude can write lyrics because he's a painter and he don't like it when the camera starts to wiggle. Because <laughs> nobody likes it when the camera's like, pops out. Oh, God. You catch it with the lips. Thank God I'm painting, boy. Yes. <laughs> All right, it's time to go relax. Painting, uh, with, painting with Josh. And, now that we've made a fool of ourselves. And weird Josh. Painting with weird Josh. <laughs> Singing with Josh. <laughs> Singings by Josh. Oh, that's so funny. All right, well, guys, we always love to leave you wanting more instead of tuning out because I'm so boring. So we're going to get out of here quickly. Uh, and uh, until we see you guys again next time, we're going to see you on Sunday. We've got a video coming out Wednesday. London's still laughing, trying to distract me. But uh, it's not going to work. So until we see you guys again next time, either Fridays, Sundays, Wednesdays, or any day of the week, or five seconds after this video ends and you turn it on or restart to watch again, uh, don't forget, I don't like it when the camera starts to wiggle. Thank God I'm painting boy. Boom! Get out of here, babe. They are done. See you later. Roberta Harris just sent a thousand stars. Holy cow! We're totally going to make it. Yeehaw! Woo! I'm a painting boy. Yes! Okay. Everybody, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Boom! Get him out of here, babe. Take your medicine. We're drink done. Water. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Sunday. Sunday! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>